。啊。我。Happy Tuesday, everybody! Welcome to the Great Night Pre-Show. I am your pre-show navigator, Bryce Castillo. Hello, everybody! It is July twenty-seven, twenty twenty-one. Our final Great Night of July twenty twenty-one. Thank you, everybody, for joining me here. We've got a fantastic show coming up for you. Brian, Justin, myself, Brett Weaver, still around. Corey's in the mix somewhere. So we're gonna have a good, uh, good couple of hours with you. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, a couple things before we throw it to the green room. Just a reminder: if you don't know, or maybe if you're having, we've had some people email in, ask, ask us a little bit of technical stuff. But uh, 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 if you, if if for whatever reason, well, I, uh, so I'm about to give advice to people who will not be able to hear me. If for whatever reason you've got an old Night Attack video feed, um, if there's a chance you were using the low quality video feed. Uh, for Night Attack, we have uh, obsoleted that feed. We are now just doing one high quality video feed. Apologies uh, if anybody was uh, very heavily using that, but uh, if for whatever reason you're not seeing uh, uh, these episodes come out, uh, maybe try switching over to the high quality feed. Of course, we're on YouTube and uh, with audio feeds in, uh, in all podcast directories. The other thing is uh, we are working through a little technical hiccup. If you are finding it difficult to access old episodes of Night Attack of the many years library of Night Attack episodes. I do regret to inform you we are, they are technically unavailable for a very brief amount of time. Uh, so uh, everybody, thank you for all your patience. Patreon.com slash great night is where you can get uh, is where you can get a bonus episode every week. So uh, we are going uh, we are going live to the green room. Green room, can you hear me? Oh, oh yeah, Bryce. That's one small step for and yeah, and one giant question for children for many years to come. <laughs> uh, ages <laughs> ages twelve and up. Yeah. Like yes. like for, for for decades. Like uh uh dude kept insisting. He said, I said the line right. I had one line, one small step for a man, yeah, one giant leap for mankind. Yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, I don't know if it was compression or what, but uh, you can kind of hear it hiccup. It's like a little hiccup. Yeah. Magic flooding, the one line. Uh, I mean, would define your life. Like, if there's ever an eat my ass moment, though, it's like it's that. Like, I was on the moon. Oh, I'm sorry. I was on the moon. <laughs> like, I break your concentration. Like, oh, oh, man, I was on the moon. I got one line wrong. Yeah. I mean, suck it. But meanwhile, Forever. Like, you got Buzz Aldrin, who's just like, I don't know, I just punched the motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, dude said I didn't go to the moon. Yeah. He saw stars. And he got the yeah. end. He got, <laughs> you got that lunar two piece in a biscuit. <laughs> Bye. Good times. Oh, hot damn. Uh, two things. Number one, cannot wait for us to get AC in this room. Starting to get hot finally. A little yeah, Starting a little to get hot finally here in Austin because it's been a, a, a from what I've gathered, and you guys are the are the vets, se- unseasonably temperate throughout the last month. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, if that means be quiet. And then right, I there we said. Go. No. Yeah. I, I told him and then I like this right said, in the mouth right. and I said how's Two that for the moon <laughs> um so yeah this is this is not usually this uh temperate and now now we're now we're getting into them triple digits yes uh, barely even then that, I think I think a high today was what 97, 97. or some nonsense yeah. like this is an old timer thing to say but it's like uh there was a year where the news headline was our 100th day of temperatures yes. over 100. Yeah. And it's, it was like, oh boy, that's a lot. Uh, this has actually been a really nice summer. Right. All things considered. So far. Yeah. I still have green grass in my front yard. Hey. Oh, shoot. That's Dude. right. Uh, oh, that's right. We haven't, we haven't been having a drought. No. The drought sucked. And yes. then the flooding sucked. Yes. But 
the full lakes after the flooding after the drought it was nice were pretty red yeah pretty good yeah uh i do remember uh brant phoning in saying hey scam nation's gonna be a little bit late uh photograph of you know water up to his ankles <laughs> <God> <laughs> damn. uh yeah no it, it floods uh well, it does not flood by my house but it's because i have a gigantic drainage like canal French system or no it was like it's like well brian's been to the been, oh, yeah. to my place but it's like it looks like as if it should in normal times have some kind of water in it it's like so uh, deep and deliberate yes but it's really only there for when it just decides to rain insane buckets and right. the, the neighborhood doesn't get flooded but unlike as uh andrew heaton would be fast to uh, uh explain to us unlike in los angeles there it's not and gross right it's it's uh and waiting for terminators to drive uh, sure uh, yeah uh, there's bits of that now. in houston as well that yeah it was like oh that's not supposed to be like that yeah yeah uh did you ha, have you ever lived in houston yeah i grew up in houston okay did you go to rendezvous it's actually pronounced houston uh, Rendezvous you, Houston, the giant fireworks show by the French artist. Yes, who like I was there. I was there too. I was there too. I was in a Allen Parkway. Uh, I, 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 I think we might have been within like a couple of miles yeah. of each other because I was on the west side looking in, and it's like Jean Michel and then lights and, and there was cloud cover so you would see fireworks and they go, you know you like you see a cloud a cloud yeah. like red slightly yeah. like uh, uh you know like it's like it's one of those hue lights like yes. it just barely and then, goes and then he decides to get like real with people he's like uh anyway i'm french what's up houston you're only hearing this on the radio because you're watching it from 12 miles away. Yes. Uh, anyway, this was going to be the first song ever played in space, uh, but then the Challenger blew up. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> and there were people and dancing on the sides. Solo or and they, were, they had uh, people dancing on the sides of the building, so they were suspended and dancing on the side Wait, of the building. Wait, what the fuck? What are you talking Rendezvous about? Rendezvous Houston. It's something that happened in the 90s? So, uh, so as I understand it, and this is mostly reconstructed as an adult from childhood memories, uh, there was a, a French artist who Jean Michel Jarre would play play air quotes uh, a laser harp, you know. Yes. Okay. And, I mean, yeah, I don't know, a giant theremin. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. Uh, uh, one one moment, everybody. We're gonna restart Discord and see if that works. So, uh, thank you for your for your patience. I uh, know nobody likes to hear the popping, but that is something that we're working on. All right, I believe we're back. And, you know the entire city of so Houston. this was his thing like yeah. he was he was so famous and he would make these deals with cities he would basically just sell it to city hall like i mean i'm going to come and, out i'm going to, I'm going to play the thing we would like to shoot the fireworks yeah. and lasers into yeah. the sky right. and then uh, we'll have people dance on the side of the building imagine at the age of nine ten discovering that most of it is we will project different colored lights onto the downtown of Houston. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will collect millions of dollars from the arts fund of Houston. Yes. So thank so, you. Goodbye, France. <laughs> so that, that was his parting line. Yes. Like, yes. As he as he, goodbye, as he disintegrates <laughs> and uh, uh, rematerializes in in uh, uh, Lyon. Yes. Uh, so wait, hold on. And then he says, "How Italy. long would this go?" Like, would this it was it was like a two-hour extravaganza. Yeah. Uh, most of which was waiting for the next song. Do we need um, to pause again? No. Okay, but uh, it, it, it actually it, you you could rightly I I'm not a music critic, but I think you could rightly criticize it for being fairly no. simplistic melody. Yes. Right. It's it's a simple hook. For two hours straight. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like we're listening to uh, uh, Lloyd Wright. Uh, uh, no, the, the guy from. Dead, uh, dead Mouse. Yes. There you go. There you go. Mm, mm, I don't know. 
<laughs> Michael Winslow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Best like, voice, greatest now, voice actor ever, by the way. Now Winslow. I will do a uh, helicopter flying away, <laughs> but in French. Retreat. <laughs> 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 What would it be like? <laughs> I said, no, 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 no. No, what was the sound? Like, what, he sounded like. I mean, like, there what, was like it, Philip Glass it, or. Yeah. A yeah. Little bit, a little bit like Philip Glass. Uh, I was only, thinking, and that, imagine I was thinking if Philip Glass knew Lord. what a melody was. Yeah. And gotcha. it was very simple. He knew what a hook was yeah. and then rocked it. And in then the early said, days look of pretty. Sin. Like, yes. forget the music. Look at the pretty. So wait, so when he set off the fireworks? Yeah, it was all pro. That was his. He, he would accept the check that would cause the fireworks. And then to he'd go do off. this big production. Right. Okay. Uh, but because nobody... that's how you get the millions of dollars. You yeah. go to the city and you're like, like I take care of everything. Yeah, I do the goodbye. Right. Yeah, I so, play so... my melody. Do 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 do. Also, do. friends. If, if you watch it friends. now, like on on YouTube. Like you'll see him like uh, uh, much like, uh, you know, I don't know, your 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 various uh, Coachella DJs or whatever, like really looking like he's doing something. Yeah. I, I don't think he's doing right. anything, but but the experience much like Skrillex <laughs> physically being there. The experience was now the skyline looks green on one half and red on another. Sure. Now it's blue and yellow. That was a firework. Yeah, <laughs> and then that just it. got lost. But was, okay, yes, yeah. yeah. but but the problem with Houston was that there was a cloudy night that night, yes. and it and so the fireworks looked like shit. Uh, yes, yeah, uh, I remember because that because by the by the way, as a child, that yeah. happens every year in in the Bay, in the Bay. Yes, you will go and people will gather around as if it's ever been different in the like decades that they've tried to do it, and they will always launch. Uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of fireworks into the clouds. Of course. And you'll just be like, well, that one was blue. <laughs> like, it was definitely a blue cloud for a half a second. And then you'll just like, you know, watch it and it'll be, it'll be bad. Which is, I think, why everybody launches the illegal fireworks out of the, out of their backyard because right. at least you can see them shit. Sure. Like, it's not like I off mean, a barge. Definitely like a, a, a reverse inverse square law. Wait, I guess just a square law. <laughs> A reverse inverse square, square law, law is just a square sure. law. Sure. Like uh, being closer to the fireworks does make them look more off awesome. Right. And I would rather watch a, a a $10 fountain in my own backyard than, than you know, see a, a, a Walt Disney World display from 10 miles away or yes. whatever. But for us, it's always waiting for when's the big shot. So wait, Let me just see the big shot. Hold on. So was this French man able to like uh, cow the city of Houston? Did everybody like be like, oh, my God, that was great. Or were they like, fuck oh, yeah. you. Oh, no, no, Get no. out of our uh, town. He was, I, I remember the Houston Post next day was like, Houston comes alive. Yes. So yeah. Like they took one epic photo of everything. Like they they clearly pre-written the I mean, article. I enjoyed it. But then uh, right after that, I saw the music man and I went, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I see he's what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like he's talking about trombones and the, oh, the P's for pool. And that spells trouble. I'll tell you, <laughs> it, 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 it does say something that 30 plus years, like that hook is still stuck in my mind because it's so goddamn dead simple. Then yeah. What is it? Do, 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 that's what I need to know. I have no, I had no idea this thing happened. Now I I'm obsessed with it. Oh. Um, God damn it! Maybe this will be an after show bit. If you guys remind us, we can actually take a look. I'm sure we can, in context with commentary, see a little bit of this. It's it's along the lines of the the artist couple that uh, did drapes of fabric. And certain oh, oh, parts. they just covered up everything. Yeah, they covered they're like, stuff. And we they're like, covered up the Reichstag. It's Ugh. very. This is very. Uh, they sounded like artistic. Bond villains. Yeah, yeah it's just no. like a like like like. It was like the gates. Something hello, gates. Hello, my darling. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, uh, I I need to know where else where else this happened. And also, why aren't we in this game? 
Uh, we need to we need to get in this game. I thought that's what we're building. Yeah, right? we need to get in this game. Because apparently, like, there's we a lot of we, money we, floating we can, around. We can build an entire thing. We could have rendezvous. <laughs> rendezvous seven acres. Yes. We can, all we do, we're going to auto-generate a hook <laughs> of, like, five notes. Sure. And then we'll just no, pump you up go the synth to the Wolf and Alpha. Wolf from Alpha guy, like, had an actual thing where you could just, like, hit three random buttons and it would synthesize a, a melody. Thing. Sure. Like, oh. uh, uh, so, yeah, we need that. But I think we we can take this on the road. Because, like, all these other suckers, what happens to all these actors and actresses? They're going and blowing some old guy who's going to put them on in, like, yeah. some regional production sure. of Guys and it's Dolls. Totally what they all Fuck do. that. Like, that's, that's, that's uh, peanuts. We need to go to the mayor of New York City <laughs> and be like, we've got the biggest thing ever on Earth. And it's only going to cost you, because we love New York. A hundred million, million dollars. A hundred million dollars. <laughs> hundred million dollars. Uh, yeah. You're like, can you give me a hint? I'm like, mm, I can give you 30% of it. Yeah. Do, 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 <laughs> do, do, That's all you get. That's all you get. That's it. That's all we got. <laughs> it's, uh, the stone, it's the stone soup of uh, entertainment events. And, God, uh, that would be such a blast. And then uh, and then uh, I have Bryce come out and uh, uh, play the the, uh, the laser harp, only it would be a real laser harp. What's yeah. the next I'd play fireworks B holiday? I'd play on, on my iPhone. Uh, New Year's. New Year well, when's Bastille Day? Like that can... was last. That was earlier this month. It was earlier this month. Yeah. Uh, Fuck. That, uh, that was a test, and you just failed. You know when Bastille Day is. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Is <laughs> Labor Day? Labor Day is. By the way, France. Out. Yeah, right. <laughs> France. Thanks for the money, sucker. Yeah. Fuck you, France. <laughs> boo do 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 do. Uh, so I was I was telling Justin on the way over. Uh, Thanksgiving should be a fireworks holiday for the record. <laughs> fireworks? Yeah. And everything looks fit. <laughs> they should they should release turkeys like it's the Olympics <laughs> and then fire up fireworks and see how many they get. <laughs> All right. Look, if you're only gonna go buy holidays, yes, right? Yes, yes. You can add fireworks to any holiday. I think what's Halloween better would, than Halloween, Thanksgiving? Halloween would be better for thanks for, mm. for fireworks. You make a compelling oh. argument, but I think it's kind of putting a hat on a hat because you don't want to. You don't want to get into got, costume. You already got candy. Devil's Night the night before. I, yeah. so that would be the fireworks. Yeah. yeah. Also, also, it's like you have literal candy and you have eye candy in the form of like you know sexy president costumes yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Hot marshmallow. Oh my god, which would yeah. be the sexiest sexy president costume for Halloween? Like uh, Millard Fillmore or. No, S sexy Chester FD, A. FDR Arthur. Yeah, Chester A. Arthur. You no. know, uh, uh, sexy, sexy Teddy Roosevelt. Oh, sexy FDR rolling around. Uh, yeah, sexy, <laughs> sexy uh, you know, sexy Jimmy Carter. No, uh, like, sexy like, like, uh, man. I want a nut up. In sexy, my sexy, my fellow American. <laughs> sexy a nut. Oh, sexy yeah. tab. Sexy tab. Heart? Getting uh, getting her titties stuck in that bathtub. Uh, 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 sexy. Uh, George the first, uh, wait, George, not not the king. George I mean, the Brown. king, George yeah, Bush. that's already. Uh, he's like uh, you uh, saw uh, Hamilton. That's this aggression already exists. will not stand, man. Yeah. Um, Valentine's Day with uh, fireworks. Fireworks. Because well, now it's romantic. Now, now all of a sudden everybody would have to do it to to impress their hold lady. Hold on, hold on. Sexy Thomas Jefferson. man. Sexy Thomas Jefferson. One hundred percent, definitely Polly. <laughs> Am I wrong? No, because then they, they them, be sexy. They, them, Jefferson? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Earth Day, fireworks. What do you think? Put it on the map. Uh, ooh. Ooh. I would love how I would. I ain't going to pick a side in this fight, but I'd love watching people fight. <laughs> like, like, it's Earth Day. Yeah. That's why we dug up these minerals from the Earth and we blew <laughs> and we them up. And we put them into the them sky, up. which it's is like, also a part of the Earth. The Earth with the litter it's like which we clean up yes yeah uh which by the way uh uh you remember i went to lake tahoe that's apparently like a thing because i had the question of like okay so everything around lake tahoe is a tinderbox like you have to fireproof your house and yes. you can't have any fires at all right also the lake itself is a national treasure and you must not pollute it right? yeah so explain and they're like well we have boats that go out and shoot off a bunch of fireworks 
and then they all land in the lake and we have scuba divers who are garbage men to clean it up clean it up as it lands and make sure that there's not a single trace of fireworks in there how amazing is that I love the I love the the visual of these guys in scuba gear going. Yeah, no, that's one hundred percent exactly how it goes, dude. I like that we both just assume that the scuba divers are eight bit characters who are like trying. What do you think about? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw. Uh, what's another holiday? Like, is I don't know, people well, are we're, we're still talking Day. about fireworks for holiday. Yeah, yeah. President Day with fireworks actually works. Yeah. Hold on, you could oh, convince shit, me shit, that was shit, real. Shit. Uh, St. Patty's Day. That drunk. Now we're talking. Yeah, setting fire. Now we're shit, talking. Yeah, right. That is one that would be wait, just only green fireworks, only green fireworks all day long. Because I was, yeah, because really the initial thing with Thanksgiving was just like <laughs> Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> only pre-noon. Pre-noon yeah, before, only. Before 6 a.m. Right. <laughs> as soon as Dog. the first child wakes up. <laughs> the first In fireworks. America. <laughs> In America. And one, one fucking angry toddler at 2 o'clock in the morning. Because that stays. Yeah. That stays. The, it's all, still the all, opening. Oh, but then all, the, the all the D'Souza, that da, stays da, no matter da, what. Da, 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 da. The parents, da, da, before da, da, they go to bed, da, da, da. In, instead of, um, I, I don't want to spoil anything, pretending to be Santa, uh, instead they set up a button that says Christmas begins, and they hit it, and then fireworks go off, <laughs> and you just hear, simply having uh, a wonderful uh, Christmas time. Uh, no? All right. Do they know it's Christmas <laughs> after all? <laughs> Fuck you, France. <laughs> Fuck you, France. <laughs> that song, the Do They Know It's Christmas song, it's the most British thing ever. Okay. It's it's also the most like fucking insulting. Like yes. Do they not understand like I said, how entitled the most British thing <laughs> yeah, ever? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so we insane. are talking about a uh, a nation that felt entitled to anywhere the sun shone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, 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 so good, so good. I like it when British people have no idea that they're British. <laughs> it's just an amazing time. You're just looking at them trying to go about their lives, and you're like, oh, it's awesome. They think they're people. <laughs> uh, they're like, all right. It's going to be a weird show. All right. Okay, so uh, is that all the holidays? <laughs> Valentine's Day fireworks? We, we Val no, that. we went over that, but here's the thing about that is that the cool thing about that is that you would have people that would get really fucking aggro about knowing how to shoot off fireworks because or it'd be like a rite of passage like i just asked Susie out for valentine's day i gotta learn how to light a snake what about what about boxing day or all souls oh day? we going for other countries is that what we that could thing? yeah uh oh we just rebrand Let's yeah. just take a holiday. We'll just rebrand it, whitewash it, American sure. style, and we'll and we'll add fireworks. Because that's what we do. <laughs> Seems on brand for us. <laughs> yeah, that was a weird hot take in in the uh, uh, for anybody old enough to remember. And hi, it's me, Brian, Mister Nine Eleven. Uh, the uh, uh, in, in like months, in weeks after nine eleven, Bush was like, "All right, I got an idea. We're going to brand ourselves a new holiday." All of a sudden, I realized where T Techie Texas comes from is yeah. George Bush. We're get we're gonna get ourselves a new holiday. It's gonna be you got Memorial Day, you yeah. got Veterans Day. Sure. Now we're gonna have Patriots Day. Patriots. Now Day, at yeah. first it's gonna be a little bit awkward. We're gonna think about them buildings that fall down. We're gonna have questions about Building Seven, all that stuff. Don't worry about that. Pretty soon there'll be nothing but giant hot dogs, fireworks, days off, Patriots as far as the eyes can see. <laughs> It never really happened. Never, never. Bluest eyes. Bluest eyes. Just throwing that bluest out there. <laughs> bluest eyes, bluest skies. That'll be our slogan. Um, I had an idea to rebrand 9 11. Yeah. Yeah. I had the idea for, because um, nobody likes 9 11, right? No. Nobody's, I mean, except for Brian. <laughs> <laughs> right. It uh, seems to be a Except for Brian. Like, but uh, uh, it's mostly a bummer of a day. Sure. So if we already have that negative it's vortex. Some, you're right. It is supposedly, supposedly 
a bummer, a bummer of a day. day. No, it's already a bummer of a day. It's already so. Okay, so you're saying lean into it. <laughs> Oh, we already have this garbage dump. I right. read, I read, like, I read like, that book let's... about Facebook. It was secretly about 9-11. They were saying lean in. Go ahead. <laughs> it's just written by somebody at Facebook. Mm. Wasn't even about Facebook. Yeah, okay, yeah, I don't know. Uh, no, we're... Uh, read about it on Facebook. Breakup amnesty day. That's what it would be. So you would be allowed. Now it's like, basically, if you're in a relationship, and let's go without marriage. Yeah, once you're married, maybe it's a different story. Okay. But like... Uh, 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 if you're just dating, right now, it's like you have total amnesty just to walk away. I'm calling it. Just sorry, oh, I'm calling 911. So I'm like, out. you're gonna have a lot of people that will be broken up with sure. on 911. Sure, but it's already a shitty day. Uh, yeah. See, at this point, what you're doing is you're 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 uh, uh, pitching Hanukkah because it's gonna what? be it's gonna be eight days of really good behavior from your spouse. Yes, up to. <laughs> well, exactly. And, so, and some people are like, oh, no, you're just encouraging people to break up. No, we're encouraging people who are in shitty relationships to break up. Which, by understand. the way, all their friends are going to be into it anyway. Yes. And uh, uh, and, and then maybe, yeah, maybe you do pick up a little bit of fucking steam beforehand because can, can, you realize you you're, on the, you're on the border. And you're like, keep annoying me. Amnesty Day is coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. First of all, if, if, it's, uh, if you want. <laughs> it's Labor Day, motherfucker. You better get on the clock. 9 yeah. around the corner. If you want eight days of BJs, then. And you better you better not remind that going into it. You better be cool and just be all like, uh, because it's like, both ways. That, yeah, that's, exactly, I mean, exactly. Who right? wants to be in that relationship? You're gonna see more. so many awesome meals cooked. Yeah. You're gonna yeah. see so many back rubs. Yes, uh, you, theater you'll monkey, be making so many, so many front rubs. Awesome yeah, uh, theater monkey says, so uh, 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 would a common law marriage count, motherfucker? If you're in a common law marriage, then then. You, you better have gotten used to surviving breakup amnesty days. I mean, every like, every yes. day is yeah. amnesty day you are, you're, when you're in a common law marriage. Yeah, you are already uh, diving through the, the <laughs> laser maze of relationships <laughs> if you've been able to pull that one off. Uh, yeah, we... Uh, uh, it, so there we go. That it, was it. it. it breakup it, amnesty it, day with fireworks. Yes. Now... Uh, um, On 9-11. Yes. What? What? Ladies and gentlemen, who's joining us? Hello. Okay, Hi, just everybody. in time to chime in on Justin's brilliant new idea. Okay, please. Uh, International Breakup Amnesty Day okay. on nine uh, eleven. On nine eleven. So, so yeah, here's okay. the it's a bummer. Right. It's a and bummer of a day anyway. Right. It's a bummer fireworks. of a day anyway. I mean, there are fireworks on nine eleven. They're in my amnesty breakup day. What is what are you getting amnesty f from? So like, all right, they, let's say let's say let's say you're in a relationship, you. right? You get into a little summer loving. Uh huh. You're yeah. in you're in a relationship, a blast. but you know, fast. but you want to know what? <laughs> Fucking when when summer when when loving. skies were so blue. <laughs> <laughs> summer loving. He made My it heart too. on his tree building too. <laughs> <laughs> summer loving. No, let's no. Let's no. 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 take this dark oh, really fast. Oh, <laughs> if we keep going, we're gonna do the whole the song. <laughs> oh, oh, the sun. Uh, yes, yes, I'm affecting another. <laughs> no, I've heard him do it enough times. I know. Yeah. It. Um, tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> like why did it? Uh, no. Tell me more. Tell well, me hold more. on. Building seven. Oh no, Some no. Hold on. on. No, no. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a bit that we used to do when we weren't in the same thing where I'm just gonna text Brian God the joke it. that I didn't say. Oh my, God. Uh, so my, uh, my question is, but, but uh, what are you getting amnesty from? The the breaking blame. up process. Blame. Yeah. Blame. You're just walking away. Everybody just blames the Taliban. And it can't be. Uh, nobody can be upset. Or amnesty I guess day. I I don't like. Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, this is a reference to a uh, no, 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 no. Apparently not. That's Cone of silence. Yeah, Cone okay. of silence okay. when I text you the joke. Cone okay, of silence. I guarantee you, ICU knows. I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. I'm sure everybody knows. So here's the deal. But so, I, like, I don't. I, I don't know. I I think about breaks that I had. Uh, recently or otherwise and uh <laughs> you're looking at your watch, looks at his watch. <laughs> so i mean uh <clears throat> past seven days let's say um oh dear it, no it was good that's the thing it was good 
Like, yes. It, it it was a good breakup. We should have broken up. We should have broken up earlier, but it yeah. was it was a a good thing. Like I wasn't tore up about it. Was yeah. there a high five involved at the end? Just no, I mean he was still pretty not okay. a fan of having to do it. But but I but he's out of my life. I don't So imagine a situation out. where uh-huh. now you could just always know, well, I, it's like it's on the fence thing. It's probably not working, uh-huh. but I know this person's going to be kind of hurt. Like now mm-hmm. you don't have to take the, the initiative to do it. It's just break up amnesty day. And then like in, as, as the <laughs> world like, is the dealing with this, the, the, you're uh-huh. just like, yeah, I'm not renewing like uh, 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 all yeah. the best. <laughs> so it's, it's uh, so that's what it is. It's an opt in to continue yes. the relationship. Okay. Yes. But, but why yes. and continue? Oh, I yeah. love that. Here, here, oh, yeah. actually I Here's love the that. Twist. Uh, it's a secret valley. So sure. it's golden you, balls. You go into <laughs> the room, you close the curtain, yeah. and you come out, and then and then the next day he finds out you dumped him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but did. it was a secret ballot, so he never knows okay. whether or not you dumped I think it he gets it out. I think he eventually figures it out. <laughs> Suddenly the toothbrush is gone. You know, you're like, oh, okay, all right. No, that's the thing. Everybody gets a secret address. And then when you show up at the rave, you're like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. because, this isn't a fancy this is, dinner. This is just Sex in the City. This is just the Sex in the City movie. <laughs> from, from Chad, they say, uh, 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 9-11, brought to you by U-Haul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, because my, my thought is nobody likes, except for Brian, 9-11 anyway. So wait, it's wait, like, wait, 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 wait. So Sorry, tragic. I, like, <laughs> yeah. I thought that I was, was the one that was having throat. yeah vocal problems. So uh, this this is a way to make a, a a functional attraction out of September 11th the day. No, 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 no. We understand that there's already this black hole on the calendar. Right. It's a bummer. It affected like this whole generation. So if it's already gonna be a bummer. Why don't we get something good out of it? Uh Let's understand that a bunch of people are going to have their lives changed, if not in their minds, ruined on this day where they already like it was about changing lives. And and, like, it's like part of the calendar. And and, and, and I understand Uh the the, the recoiling from it. But understand uh, Memorial Day is about, you know, remembering memorial sure and the fallen veterans, innocent and correct. those and, the heroes who gave their lives and uh, all the uh, poor souls who broke up correct uh, mm-hmm. uh veterans day. day you know is another three-day weekend um uh, okay <laughs> like i mean i'm just saying like heroes day i mean well, like, no, that's like, also like what if the slogan of 9-11 was um uh, now, insert I, one quarter to continue yeah and mm-hmm. then your excuse is like ah oh, man i really meant to i just didn't have a <laughs> quarter on me my dollar uh you know i, I guess in. i think yeah. there's something to the new jersey quarters that they don't work the same <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. I, I had a great yeah. three day weekend. Dude, could though. you imagine uh, everybody like matching on Tinder in like the week before? It's like, this is some like bullshit where you're going to ditch me on breakup <laughs> amnesty day, are you? Right. No, no, we're cool. No, no, no. You'll definitely make it to 9 12. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I, I don't normally say this, but I mean, I think you might, I might be in 9 12 with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, great you're a, i really like you're that, a 912 like baby a we're 912 and baby we're 912 right. <laughs> now would you like to see my steel beam <laughs> no all right too much cross the line i i pinched it from the chat i blame the chat yeah <laughs> sure there you what, go what as if brian needs help making 911 jokes <laughs> I mean, I apparently don't. They no, I know. Yeah. No, no, I know. I'm, I'm admonishing them. I'm not okay, admonishing okay, you. Okay, good. <laughs> I like that we skip past the conceit that, of course, 911 has a tagline, and we're going to change it. Yeah, like, what what if we're going to fix it. What, what, what we, happened? No, well, we, we don't we have it. one. I don't, <laughs> we forgot it. We forgot 911. That's it's, the problem. It's, well, uh, but uh, it's, it can't be 911. Never forget because that's the Alamo. Just uh, I mean, uh, here. Okay. Uh, no, that's nobody in Delaware's like fucking never forget. Yeah. The uh, 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 we were, just before you came in, we were talking mm. about how the initial branding, which was way inappropriately early in like the advertising messaging of uh, like 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 months afterwards, they're all like Patriot Day. That's what we're gonna call it. It'll be Patriot Day. It'll be sure. like Veterans right. Day, Memorial Day. Um, I, I I ain't gonna say Labor Day because that promotes labor. Uh, <laughs> Free, Freedom I, Day. It's, it's me, uh, an um, ambiguous president who, who was be president. Be- Let's call him be Becky Bexis. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, and, and bad branding for the war on terror and, <laughs> yeah. uh, 
all of <clears throat> that terrorist attack. Um, yeah. <laughs> For the record, I pitched breakup amnesty day to my girlfriend at the time when I thought of this. Uh, she You've been cooking on this for a while. Though. Oh, yeah. forever. Oh, I think this is a good idea. Question. I still think how, it's a good how idea. How many girlfriends ago <laughs> did you pitch this? Yes. <laughs> how many girlfriends in well, between last week? Uh, whoa, whoa. Conception and, and, and delivery. <laughs> no, just the one. That was the last, uh, like, like girlfriend, girlfriend that I had before I met. Before actually. you married yeah. the internet. Uh, before I married the internet. Yes. Yeah. Now, here's my one criticism of... Uh, national wow. breakup o amnesty. O only yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. I just got the one, which is, I think I need more. more you want to know what? More days. You want to know what? Not, the, yeah, I think I need more than one day in I'm September. I'm fucking so glad you brought this up because okay. I've already thought of it. Oh, perfect. There's two breakup amnesty days. Oh, fantastic. When is the other one? Hanukkah. Valentine's Day. No. Some because say, either, because uh -huh. here's the other inverse that you don't realize is that breakup amnesty day is both a time when people are really sad Right. And when people are really happy. Yes. It's already happening on Valentine's Day. We don't even, like, like everybody's single <laughs> so is pissed so off. Like, what? Everybody who's together with somebody is excited. You're basically just heightening the stakes I mean, on a thing that's already happening. You do realize the thing you're saying is that that's how Valentine's is Day already works. granted and it already exists. No, but we don't have it hard-coded in. Well, no, that's, that's the, the fall. That that's want. fall breakup amnesty that's day. It, what, yes, then they did. The time they did bring this And the sky's... <laughs> I think it's technically winter too. Still, technically winter, but uh, uh, but yeah. So then the and other it, side of okay. it, and also <laughs> it gives you the clearinghouse on either I want to get out of this relationship before I have to see all my family uh -huh. for the holidays. Yes, and then after this is a mistake. You shouldn't have met my family. Um, we can we can we can just get out of this right now. And then summer, you you get to work your magic, just uh, shoving your shit wherever you can. Counter proposal shit wherever you can. Yeah, counter proposal. Uh. Just normalize Thursdays across 52 the days. board. 52 days. Nobody ever has but to worry. Imagine, only, this, imagine, oh, imagine this. Nobody has to worry about whether or not they're in a relationship until Wednesday night. Only, but, but only, every week. That's that's only if, every week. About it. Only if whenever you invoke breakup amnesty Thursday, <laughs> you say like, our relationship is... Everybody goes norm. <laughs> Gonna continue. <laughs> <laughs> That's too, every week is too much. Yeah, so, you're right. That's just the person. That's too I can see monthly or quarterly. Three forty-seven p.m. every single day. <laughs> That's my final <laughs> offer. <laughs> A.M. and P.M. Just a.m. Okay, and you know what? You're right. I double down. Yeah. 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 Right. So, it's, like, it's like if you ever get tapped on the shoulder <laughs> in the three... middle of a deep sleep, yeah. and you look at the clock and you see it's 3 30, you're like, yeah. oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, son sorry. of a bitch. You're I better like... pretend to still be asleep. Oh, yeah. Man. And that's every day. <laughs> yep. Pick Twice up a day. The key, in the middle Lee. of the fucking night, in the middle of the work day. Yeah, you're wrapping up your work day. <laughs> you still got an hour It's 347, plus. Sven. Hey, your girlfriend's here. <laughs> Come to see you. What time is it? It's 345. Uh, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> It's three forty-five or whatever the time. Yeah. <laughs> three forty-seven every day. A M a a so then it's joy at three thirty-one uh, every day. Like, oh, rewind yeah. the clock. Right, I gotta go to the command strip. I uh, control room to the green room. You have five minutes. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Five. I need to consult a good anatomic clock. Brace. One of my favorite. Uh, column the answer is you don't read. get access to my cock. <laughs> I'm setting you free. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna write this whole song. Well, no, one of my favorite my favorite columns I ever read was my buddy Matt, who wrote uh, the 50 other ways to leave your lover. <laughs> oh Christ! <laughs> and then one of my favorite, the line, the bring down the house line was sell her into white slavery, oh, Avery. <laughs> <laughs> Just get yourself free. Just get yourself free. <laughs> sell her into white slavery. Avery. Just tell her be gone, LeBron. <laughs> Like no, now I just want to start with unusual. Dude. I could find. Let me see if I could look up fifty other oh, ways to leave gosh. your lover. See, and I want to turn it around to where the fifty other ways is for the woman to break up with. All them. right, Gloria Stein, and we get it. Hey, just, you know, just call her a Lori, Corey. <laughs> set yourself free. Uh, Lori's a taxi, right? I'm not yes. wrong about that. Okay.
I was just confused because nobody laughed, and I, I, I wasn't making a 9-11 joke. Well, I was trying to think of something <laughs> clever, and yeah. it just it passed me by. Yeah. So. so the trick is you start with a, a unusual name and then yeah. and then work backwards from there. So yeah. let's let's say what's what's an unusual name? Candace. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, it's not like I planned this, Can this Candace. That was good. If Maybe he, you should move to Kansas. Go, no. Uh, just move three. to Kansas, Candace. No, no, I like. I, it's not like I planned this, Candace. Okay, uh, that's good. I swear, I ain't lying, Brian. That was uh, easy. you just got to trust in Justin. He told me to set you free. <laughs> <laughs> he made up Amnesty Day. <laughs> it's nine eleven. Hey, <laughs> them towers went down, y'all. And we're back. We're having a building we're, seven. We're having a ball. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I'm the ball. Nah, you, was you, you. It, it was your heart singing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the only thing I could think of was then you just lost the bet, Brett. Was uh, oh, there we lost go. Lost the bet, Brett. <laughs> Holy shit, man. So I think this is your station, Jason. <laughs> I think. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna make about my lovely wife, Bonnie. Jo uh, Bonnie, jo uh, Bonnie, I'm leaving you for Johnny, Bonnie. <laughs> I'm leaving you for Johnny, <laughs> Bonnie. Uh, 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 so, uh, yeah, yeah. Do, do we have an idea for the announcing sentence I, without I a guess? Have some, but I would like to. What, I would like the uh, stream to maybe give me a couple ideas. Well, yeah, they can pitch stuff to you, but I would also say just take the funniest line from the pre from 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 the green room and 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 just put it in there. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's up to you, baby. Yeah. That's your that's your canvas paint. Sure, I'm painting, baby. <laughs> throw, throw some. Well, because I was like, I've got stuff we're not, to throw we're not, in. But... We're not breaking up with you, but we're just gonna say that's your canvas. I'm just saying, pan, uh, Candace. <laughs> your canvas. <laughs> Candace. I'm just saying that 347 is coming sooner than baby. you think. <laughs> so, oh, uh, uh, real quick, uh, Q and A. Anyone in the chat got a question before we try to get serious and do a comedy show? Yeah, exactly. We're gonna get very serious. We're there really is. A, 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 oh, for the record, if anybody missed it, um, man, uh, Andrew turned me on to Fred Durst's uh, TikTok, and it is extraordinary. Uh, the, there, there's one of them. That, like, I, I guess all of the jokes are that you're Fred Durst. You used to be in Limp Bizkit, uh, and that's it. And so, like. Uh, uh, he's got a big old uh, shaggy white beard, and somebody walks up and says, uh, uh, are you, "Excuse me, sir, are you Fred Durst?" He goes, "It depends. What do you want?" And uh, and and in Spanish, she says, "Where are the watermelons?" And he says, uh, "Oh, aisle four. Uh, uh, and, and, and you're like, oh, muchas gracias. He's like, "The nada." <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of the TikTok. It's amazing. Um, dude, yeah, Fred Durst. He like he was like a, a, a he got into like the music like A and R shit like while and Biscuit was super hot A and R like artist relations like he was like oh, finding yeah, bands yeah, yeah. and like signing them to whatever label like while he was like in the middle of it he's like he was always somebody that was a, like smarter certainly than the music would let on I would love as a matter of fact maybe we can tee this up as a general topic for either a pre show or, or a post show. But I would love it if Chat Realm wanted to put together a list of people and get us to think about whether or not they're smarter than we think or not. And smarter or dumber? Smarter uh, wait, wait, or dumber? No, no, no. I, I mean, not that we would make a value judgment or yeah. whatever. But, but I mean, like, um, uh, like, there are times I see things and I'm like, wow, that is a dude who knows how to, uh, who knows how to make money playing, you know, his character, but yes. is, is wicked smart underneath. Uh oh yeah I I tend to assume people are smarter than than they let on like especially in in show I business that is the longest we have had eye contact this entire hour <laughs> it is weird because I gotta I gotta kind of go back and forth but then, like I gotta, no, 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 yeah I, I'm not accusing you of anything I'm just gonna say that uh, it's almost three forty seven <laughs> no sorry <laughs> that's how it is. we gotta go right, right, we'll cut, we cut it out we cut it out we yeah. should go cut right. it. Hard. <laughs> no, hard. And he's out. Little buff boy. All right. There we go. Thank you, everybody. That's going to be a hard cut for you. Thank you to the green room.
You guys have a good rest of your transition over here to the other room. Thank you so much for joining us here in the Great Night Pre-Show. I'm Bryce Castillo, navigating you through all of the rocky pre-show waters. I'm getting ready here, getting some of our uh, topics lined up for today. Oh, that's right. What? We're going to do... Uh, I can, I can tell you this, we're going to do a special round of what is Brett watching? Of course, uh, special round because we've never done it on Great Night. I think that's that. Uh, yeah, all right. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us on, uh, uh, on Tuesday night. I'm going to take a look. I, I opened up a room in, uh, in, in our Discord uh, last week, and uh, I did not tell anybody to use it. But uh, we've got a channel in our Discord called Birthday Borner, which is a brand new, uh, I'm good. I'm oh, true. what's up? I was asking <laughs> if I could join you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I just realized I was climbing, grabbing uh, Yeah, you were like, get a, do you want a drink? Yeah, yeah. Like an HR violation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can, I mean, you can even sit here. Derek, Derek, Darren and I, uh, um, uh, just, just, we roughed it and it was fun. It was fun roughing it. So, uh, hello everybody. So, uh, starting next week, uh, please, uh, we're gonna add some bots and stuff to that birthday borner. But uh, please let us know there when uh, when you've got a birthday borner to announce. Hello, we're joined with Brian Brushwood. Hello, yeah, Brian. I, I I need help. Uh, uh, if we were to pretend this is a like a uh, an advice show, um, yeah. My partner always points out when I mention 9-11. <laughs> oh, I see. And suddenly it that becomes difficult. funny to me to lean into that. And uh, then just I keep talking about 9-11 because I feel privileged because I'm old, older than just about everybody else okay. on the planet. Uh, and and, and I, I mean, yes, I, I mean, I still went through 9-11 uh, even though like, I'm younger than you. Well, how much younger? I was in sixth grade. Did you watch it live? Uh, I don't. Re I don't remember. They did let us out of school early, but now we're just talking about September see, 11, 2001. Okay. See, see, this is what happens. <laughs> no, this is my trap. We got right? drawn into it. This is. I need your advice. We need. An we so, need okay. Anastasia breakup day. <laughs> no, 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 please don't break okay. up. Okay. <laughs> it's almost 3:47. Please don't. <laughs> oh no. Oh good. We're past. We're, we're past. Okay, it's 3:48. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. Check. <laughs> um, but uh, so I remember we left early, and I remember going home, and it was on TV but I being a middle schooler did not really have a sense of how important it was until I got an idea of what happened and then I over assumed like I remember I remember asking my parents like should we fly the flag upside down like that's <laughs> distress are we at war <laughs> do uh, we need help okay. we're in I, this I just, is in a just Virginia realized, suburb like <laughs> I, I, I managed to do the exact opposite of everything I was hoping to do which was move beyond that I have I called it uh sorry uh host it's me caller yes. I called it with one problem <laughs> and, and now it's it. exacerba I made exacerbated it yeah yes, okay. <laughs> what, what you need to do what you need to do is refocus reorbit around a new holiday yes you need to actively make yourself I am Mr. National Amnesty Breakup Day. Sure. I mean, it's, it's you know, six of oh, one half. But, but that's on 9-11, isn't it? <laughs> You can have you can take the Valentine's Day one. You can take the summer Sorry, league. I, I was I called into an advice show. Do you want to you want to call in? Yeah, uh, uh, right. caller. Do you have any uh, any uh, advice for our last caller? Uh, do you, wait, I don't know if you heard all of that. I don't know if you made me need you to to recap you. Sounds like somebody's idea is hitting altitude. <laughs> That's... Break up Amnesty Day is on the move. That's all I'm here to say. Sure. I mean, yes. And also... I think it would be a very... I think it's a decent idea. I think it's a, it's a very utilitarian idea. Yes, it is very I might have thought about it while I was thinking about breaking up with somebody, but I, I, I knew it much in the same mm. way that some other motherfucker with a bunch of mess on the floor <laughs> looked at a stick and a bunch of twine and was like, I could use a mop. <laughs> like, yeah. I looked at that and I was like, man, that would I be great. A, a, what if It'd be it great if nobody blamed me that I broke up with her. I think honestly. everybody else was getting broken up with. Yeah. I, I think honestly there probably is. I think if we went a route similar to, say, National Breakup Amnesty yeah. Day or uh, uh, anything around formalizing the process of a relationship to some degree. Because I think I think a lot of people go into relationships not knowing how to 
be in a relationship or how to like attract another person. A lot of people go into relationships in the same way they go into podcasts. They just kind of assume <laughs> they they're going to go on forever and, yeah. and they, it's probably too complicated. And so like having having a support system, I guess, like an, or a, 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 I guess it's a support system where, hey, everybody, here's the thing that we're doing. This is like, it, be, it, be, it becomes part of like the the culture almost yeah no that would be the hope and mostly the hope for me was that i just didn't want people to be mad at me <laughs> i didn't want anybody to be mad at me that i was breaking up with people mm. hold on wait there's another caller oh yeah thank you very yeah. thank you i hope that was helpful uh caller we're uh, uh hello caller uh, hey, uh, I, I went to. Uh, oh, hello, uh, welcome uh, back. Uh, no, I'm a different guy. Oh, I see. <laughs> um, I, 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 I went to a show, mm -hmm. and uh, there were uh, three dudes, the something something group, and sure. I was very uncomfortable <laughs> because they were the bluest guys. Because <laughs> they were the bluest guys. All right, Chad, if you can, what do you think that means? We're getting one boo. So far, the reaction was boo. <laughs> We're getting a lot of boo. So, caller, did you hear that last joke? So the thing is, it's like, I just don't want people to be mad at me. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm in a, 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 a relationship. Now I'm a different guy. So a relationship just isn't going to work work out, right? Sure. And you you created a tool because you needed a tool. Yeah. That's how. That's the mother of invention, necessity. I mean, what the fuck can you do? Sit around all day and watch the Smurfs? You know, the bluest guys. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, you sell the joke, and I don't. You steal that out of my mouth from you. Call, uh, you know, listeners, uh, you're, the, you're the Boo Man group. That's what you are. Okay. Boo! Boo Man group is a joke. Boo Man group is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke I was making. I was too subtle. For uh, you. It's a, the booest man. I'm getting a lot you know of a lot thing? of laughs right now. A lot of laughs in the chat. <laughs> All right, what well, caller? I hope that helped a little bit. Uh, do we have any more? Okay, everybody's. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining in this impromptu call-in section of the show. Um, by the way, please join us in Discord. Uh, we've got a, a, a Diamond Club uh, Discord server. Uh, Discord.greatnight.tv is how you can get into it. Uh, we're going we're gonna to have a part later in the show where you might want to be in Discord. And uh, for the security of our server, we have a 10-minute uh, wait. So you have to wait 10 minutes before we let you into the server. So if you want to take part in the thing at the end of the show today, you need to get in the server now because otherwise you're going to miss the whole fucking thing. <laughs> so uh, one more time, Discord.greatnight.tv. By the way, Everybody who's listening to the sound of my voice, take out your phone. Go take out your phone. Actually, I don't know what it looks like on phones. Go to greatnight.tv. Our friend, our friend T2 T2, um, has uh, put in uh, a lot of work. Is working on the, the new version of the website. I don't even know what it will look like on the phone, but I've seen it on. Uh, oh, I could just pull. You know, I've got. So good, I want to eat it. <laughs> you kind of the thing is you can't do that impression loud enough for that to be picked up here. I'm only doing that for you, Brian. <laughs> Thank you. So what's what's great about the uh, the update to the update to the website is it kind of takes advantage. It, it recognizes each episode as a sum of three parts: the pre-show, the show, and the after-show. So it, it becomes much easier to access the associated files. So. Uh, check it out. It's still a work in progress. Still, uh, still. Thank you, T2. Thank you, T2. 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 Uh, righty, everybody. It is 6.55 p.m. Central Time. We're keeping an eye out. Hoping all of the hosts are here. Hoping everybody's ready. Thank you, everybody, for joining us in the Great Night pre-show. I've been Bryce Castillo. One more time. Patreon.com slash Great Night. If you want to get uh, a special bonus episode exclusive only on Patreon every week. Patreon.com slash Great Night. Any, uh, if you've got a, if you've got an old pledge, if you make a new pledge, uh, uh, you're going to get it. So uh, Patreon.com slash Great Night. Of course, uh, one more time, Discord.GreatNight.tv, Twitch.GreatNight.tv, um, uh, all sorts of great stuff. So thank you, everybody, for joining us. And hello. I hope you all had a good, uh, had, I had a good time in the green room. Hopefully I'm in there a little more, you know. I've been out of there the first few weeks because I'm, I need, I need, it's very helpful for me to have 45 minutes here. We're touching and working on other things. Not, not, not touching, but working on all the other little software things here that I just needed to do right before the show, including fixing that popping issue. I thought that is because I fixed, I thought I, I thought I was fixing something earlier today. 
I was fixing something earlier today. Apparently, no, apparently I was breaking it. So, got it. We got it. We got it fixed. Uh, quick. <laughs> Daniel Day Newman. 45 minutes of touching. Yeah. D digital. Digito. Digito. Touching. Uh, but, 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 uh, so hello everybody thank you once again for joining us um so yes uh the the discord you might notice on the uh, on the channels there under the chat realm group i've got a new wait what? who changed this no that's not okay so no if one of the mods is listening you should not have rechanged that um it's <laughs> it's called advice we have a channel there called advice in fact i think i can start that stage now we'll start the stage um and nice. And uh, that's only for our members, but uh, uh, we will be, uh, uh, that will be the way that you will in interface with the show is via this uh, advice stage on uh, on Discord. So uh, I can see we've got people in the audience there listening in. Very cool. It will be at near, kind of near the end of the show, but uh, thank you so much for uh, already tuning in. JC Cohen says the new advice segment will be called Ed Bryce. And I, I, he said that earlier. I thought that was an Ed Astra, like an Ed Astra joke somehow. Or what is, at, was Ad, Ad Astra? Ed Astra. It's, but it's called Ed Astra. But Ad Bryce is very funny. It's very good wordplay. Everyone's looking at me. Oh, people are looking at me. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm wearing my, I'm wearing my, 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 my hot boy summer shirt. Uh, it's, I'm, but I need, it's a little wrinkly. Please don't comment on how wrinkly it is. I meant to iron it today, but I. <clears throat> Excuse me, I was a little, a little busy. Um, <laughs> all right, well, um, let's. Uh, we are two minutes to go, Hold so. On. I have a two minute topic. All right, two minute topic. We've got Justin Robert did Young the, here. Did the relationship that just ended know that you did the show? Or is that, they a, know is that, that a secret? They know that they knew, yes, they knew about. Did they ever watch it? I don't think so. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't 912. That's, that that's 9 not 912. 9 that that's 9 not 912. Uh, I have a very funny story. I was recording a podcast the day that I uh, <clears throat> uh, executed that breakup. And um, <laughs> I knew I, you know what? I knew it was coming and it just, that just happened to be the day for it, you know, unfortunately. And so I tell the person that I'm recording the podcast with, oh, you know, I'm, I am, I, I actually say on the podcast, oh yeah, I had a breakup. It was great. <laughs> And he, and he asked me after the show, he thought I was being facetious. He was like, hey, do, are you okay? Do you need, do you want to talk? Yeah. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm good. So wait, you I'm, hadn't done it. No, I had done it. I, I, had, done I, it. I had done it. And then I went on this podcast and, yeah. and then Who's mentioned it. Did the guy know it was coming? Uh, n no. Uh, wait, with the, the person I broke up with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Blindsided that motherfucker? I, I probably did. I, I don't know if I blindsided him, but I know I made a bad day worse. Oh. I know I made a bad day worse. Uh, the, Fuck you, Bryce. <laughs> Fuck you, Bryce. His, look, Fuck you, Bryce. If your car gets towed, you should tell me it got towed instead of not telling me we can't go on a date. <laughs> And then wondering where the oh. fuck you are. So, oh, so, so, so it was after they fucked up. He, he fucked then, up. Yes. And then you pulled the plug. Uh, yes, he fucked up because he had a bad day. That's it, cut it. Yeah. yeah so, that's the way to go. That's the way to You're go. Good. Bad day. Good on you, Bryce. Thank you. I have mm. that shirt though. It looks like shit. <laughs> 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 Brian says it sounds like I got amnesty. Uh, and, yeah. I, I guess I need amnesty. I guess my my stance on the breakup amnesty day was like I don't really tell people about my relationships or breakups, <laughs> and so I don't really I don't really need like a public I don't need a public branding day. Do you say public uh, nasty day? Yeah. He did kind of take he he flipped it, twerked it and reversed it. All right, it is seven o'clock. I'm gonna ask all of our hosts to be in position. Uh, Brett, are you uh, in position to do I'm your thing? In He's in position. Fabulous. Can you talk for me in that mic again, Brett? One, two, three. Hey, perfect. There we go. Thank you, everybody, one last time for joining us here in the great night pre-show. Who said it right? Uh, uh, we are going to call it. We are going to start the show. Count me in, brother. I will indeed count you in. Let me get my Winamp ready. I do got to get Winamp. You, see, you, simp you simply have to have Winamp going. Shabla. You simply. Yeah, simply have to have Winamp going. It rips the llama's ass. 
All right, everybody. <laughs> We're going to do our thing. Here we go. Yes.